right hey guys welcome back to another video i am your host jeanette aka soraya all right you guys so the sun is yeah the sun is shining today i am um, um i shared with you guys on the previous video where i was sharing with you all that i needed to go get my car service and so um my car is now in the shop so i feel good about that because that noise it was a a noise in the back of my car and so i didn't know what was going on it felt like i don't know i can't even i can't even describe it i would have to let them describe it once they put it on their machines and figure out but it was just a noise in the back it wasn't the muffler that i was hearing um it was just something else i can't even tell you what it was so I went on and dropped that off. But here's the thing. I think the guy forgot what I said. Um, what I called to actually make the appointment. Let me see if I put you over this side. I'm trying to see so it don't be so much sun. Even though I'm enjoying this sunshine, guys. This is the shade and it's not that hot to have. Uh. All right, guys. So it's not that hot outside where I should be in the shade but at the same time I think the guy forgot what he said to me he told me that I can wait for my car to be serviced and um so I was like okay then I'll drop the car off and I'll wait so I brought my I brought this big old bag right here and I brought snacks water um crochet stuff so I can crochet but the same time, the guy, when I got ready to drop my car off, he said, it's only drop-offs only. I say, say what? He was like, yeah, you can only drop the car off. You can't sit and wait for the vehicle. And he said, um, he thought he told me, he said he told me that. I was like, no, had you told me that, I would have prepared myself for a ride to, um, you know, somebody come ride with me or something like that. But because I thought I was going to be able to sit and wait, it didn't matter how long it take. Um, but I thought I'll be able to sit in the shop so that they can, um, you know, service my vehicle. But that's not the case. And where I'm at, you guys, so I'm trying to make calls to try to get somebody to come and uh, pick me up. But right when you need people you can't find anybody to come pick you up and i don't want nobody to go out of their way um to come get me because i know uh one of my friends said if i did need help or whomever would come and help me but because i didn't know i was going to need help i rejected all the helps and now everybody else and everything so uh so that's what i'm doing guys just here trying to get my car fixed but it's so great that it's a nice day and then out here with this restaurant that i'm at they have outside sitting so i'm able to sit outside and and you know enjoy myself and you know then i can it's other things this is a whole mall area it's like a it's a whole mall area where i can keep myself you know just going into stores i could take myself out to eat um the restaurant that i'm at right here they're not open yet so they'll be open shortly so i can grab myself something to eat they got a uh breakfast place over here uh they got a pizzeria place over here so i can definitely go some places and just sit down you know and eat and enjoy myself so that's not a problem but anyway guys i just want to give you guys the update that the car is in the shop and when i tell you i am so glad to have somebody under my hood right now I am so glad, okay? Anyway, I'll see you guys once my car is done. All right, guys, so I stopped and got me a muffin and some, no, not yet, closer, almost there, tea. All right, guys, so I am back, and just like that, my car is now fixed. Yeah, it's all together now. I am so, so, ooh, I'm so happy. It was a little pricey, but, you know, hey, older models, cars, you just gotta, you gotta pay the price, especially you're, um, 
those foreign cars, you just got to pay a little bit more. So my car is fixed. I feel good about it. I feel so good. In Chicago today, it is 55 degrees. It feels so, so good out. I'm at the park, you guys, and it feels so good. There's so many people here at the park. I love this park right here, guys. It's like a forest reserve, and it's really, really, really nice. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, you guys, so it is so beautiful. Let me show you this park. I've shared this park with you guys plenty of times, and it's just a park where you can just uh, feed the birds, feed the, feed the, whatever you call these things right here. What do you call these right here? The geezers or whatever they are. It's so beautiful out today, guys. Spring and summer. It's going to be so lovely out. I can already tell that we're going to have a beautiful spring and a beautiful summer. I can already tell. I can already tell. So this is where, this is not the area that people actually go to. Uh, this is not the area where people go to fish at. It's on the other side. I don't know if you can see the water, but it's on the other side over there. See, they just chilling. Everybody's just chilling. Can we get a chill, please? I gotta watch where I'm stepping because they, they poop a lot. Like, what are they eating? That they pooping like this? Ooh, child. The poop game is real out here. So, yeah. Do y'all got y'all some fishes out here? See how you got these birds right here with them? All together as a family. So, yeah. This is where I'm at. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighbor. Won't you be mine? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighbor. Won't you be mine? Could you be mine? <laughs> All right, you guys. Let me, um, I don't know. I might want to go for a walk. It's, it's, it's a trail back here. But y'all, this trail is kinda, it's kinda small. So I was kinda leery to walk through there. Even though I saw people walking back um, through this trail right here. But as you get deep into the trail, it gets really, really narrow. I'm like, I don't know what this trail gonna end up being. Where I'm headed, where I'm going. I don't need to be going nowhere by myself. But let me share with you guys where they, oh, the poop game. Y'all know that y'all be pooping. What y'all be eating, these fishes? The poop game is real. So on this side over here, let me show you where they uh, be fishing. I love to see them. Um, I love to see when fishermen come out here to fish. I love to see it. So let me share with you guys where they be fishing at. Are you a fisherman or a fisherwoman? Do you know how to fish? In case you need food to eat, you know how to catch your own fish. But I showed you guys, but let me show you again. All right guys, so this is the side. It got a little bench area. It got a little bench. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Bench area, a few benches down here. And this is where they come on this side to uh, do some fishing. Right now the birds got the birds got the lake. So but I love to see when they down here fishing with their little gears and things like that. Ah it's so cool. It's so cool. This water makes me look like I wouldn't eat anything out of it. But I guess when you take it home and cling it, you'll be alright. You'll be alright. <laughs> all right you guys so isn't that beautiful i when i tell you i l-o-v-e love coming out here love just looking at the birds i feed them a lot i just enjoy that so much and like i said uh, my car was reading 
55 degrees. So as long as the sun is shining, she all right. She is all right. I hope you enjoy your day. Take a moment out and enjoy your day. Even if it's just for 30 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, whatever minutes you can afford to just enjoy the moment. Love you guys. I'll see you all in our next video. Please stay tuned to the next video. Bye guys.